So let's talk about that moment of inertia, which is the second value when you create a new body. So what is the moment of inertia? So it is a rotational inertia or how much uh, is going something to resist to angularly accelerated. Uh, so if it has a large moment, it will be difficult to rotate or angularly accelerate. And if it has a small moment, it will be easy to angularly accelerate or rotate. So here in Google I typed moment of inertia and I'm going to open this Wikipedia. So the moment of inertia, otherwise known as the angular mass or rotational inertia of a rigid body is a tensor that determines the torque needed to desire for a desired angular acceleration about a rotational axis. Even better explanation is here in this Khan Academy video, so I strongly recommend to watch these if you want to uh, better understand the moment of inertia. Or well, on the second page you can find this video, this uh, which is which has three minutes and forty five seconds, and this guy explains also very well how the moment of inertia works. So let's go to Pi Monk, and I'm here in the API reference, and as you see, we have three func uh, four functions to calculate the moment of inertia. And one is the moment for a circle, uh, second is the moment for poly and moment for segment and moment for a box. We are going now use this moment for a poly because we have a poly shape. So okay. Now I'm going to create here a variable called a moment and it will be the pymunk that moment for a poly. Here it is. And if, let's let's go back to the API reference and pymunk moment for a poly. It needs as you see a mass and the vertices and the offset is defaults to zero zero and the radius also defaults to zero so calculate the moment of inertia for a solid polygon shape assumes the polygon center of gravity is at its centroid the offset is added to each vertex so let's see the mass is just one and the vertices will be this poly poly dot get underscore vertices of course I need to move this poly above this moment and here uh, when I create this poly shape for the body for now I'm just going to give it none and uh, for the poly I'm here after I created the body I'm going to add the poly that the body equals the body and I'm going to change this moment to the moment we are calculated here. So let me see. Okay. You can print out the value of the moment. And, 
and as you see it is this value 416.66666 repeating and if you change the size of the poly shape polygon shape let's say i'm going to create instead of 50 50 150 and 150 and now let's print out the moment so the bigger the body now it is 3750 so when the body is when the shape is bigger uh, the moment is gets bigger also and let me see if i change the mass so when we created this moment for a poly the first value is the mass and the second value is the vertices so let's change it to 10 and as you see the previous value which was 3750 now gets multiplied by 10 so now it's 37500 and if you go back to the API reference, as you see, we have three type or four types of moment. One is for the circle, and the circle needs a mass, an inner radius, an outer radius, and it also has an offset, which is de which is defaulted to zero zero. And the moment for a poly, we just used mass and the vertices offset radius uh, also we have moment for segment for line segment also mass point a point b and a radius and a moment for a box which has mass and a size 